they form the largest branch of the southern Bantoid languages. The total number of Bantu languages ranges in the hundreds, depending on the definition of language versus dialect, and is estimated at between 440 and 680 distinct languages. For Bantuic, Linguosphere has 260 outer languages. McCorder points out, using a comparison of 16 languages from Bangi Mwa, Bangi Tamba, Koyomboshi, Likwala Songha, Ngundindri and northern Mozambikian, mostly from Guthrie's own sea, that many varieties are mutually intelligible. The total number of Bantu speakers is in the hundreds of millions, estimated around 350 million in the mid-2010s. Bantu languages are largely spoken southeast of Cameroon, throughout Central Africa, Southeast Africa, and Southern Africa. About one-sixth of the Bantu speakers, and about one-third of Bantu languages, are found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo alone. See List of Bantu Peoples The Bantu language with the largest total number of speakers is Swahili, however, the majority of its speakers use it as a second language. Other major Bantu languages include Zulu with 12 million speakers and Shona with less than 10 million speakers. Ethnologue separates the largely mutually intelligible Kinyarwanda and Kirindi, which together have 20 million speakers. The similarity among dispersed Bantu languages had been observed as early as the 17th century. The term Bantu as a name for the group was coined by Wilhelm Bleek in 1857 or 1858, and popularized in his Comparative Grammar of 1862. He coined the term to represent the word for people in loosely reconstructed Proto-Bantu, from the plural noun class prefix ba categorizing people, and the root nt sum, any. There is no indigenous term for the group, as Bantu-speaking populations refer to themselves by their endonyms, but did not have a concept for the larger ethnolinguistic phylum. Bleak's coinage was inspired by the anthropological observation of groups frequently self-identifying as people or the true people. The term narrow Bantu, excluding those languages classified as Bantoid by Guthrie, was introduced in the 1960s. The prefix ba specifically refers to people. Endonymically, the term for cultural objects, including language, is formed with the key noun class, as in Ki Swahili, Isi Zulu and Ki Ganda. In the 1980s, South African linguists suggested referring to these languages as Kinchu. The word Kindu exists in some places, but it means thing, with no relation to the concept of language. In addition, delegates at the African Languages Association of Southern Africa Conference in 1984 reported that, in some places, the term Kintu has a derogatory significance. This is because Kintu refers to things and is used as a dehumanizing term for people who have lost their dignity. In addition, Kintu is a figure in some mythologies. In the 1990s, the term Kintu was still occasionally used by South African linguists. But in contemporary decolonial South African linguistics, the term Chu languages is used. The Bantu languages descend from a common Proto-Bantu language, which is believed to have been spoken in what is now Cameroon and Central Africa. An estimated 2,500 to 3,000 years ago, speakers of the Proto-Bantu language began a series of migrations eastward and southward, carrying agriculture with them. This Bantu expansion came to dominate sub-Saharan Africa east of Cameroon, an area where Bantu peoples now constitute nearly the entire population. Some other sources estimate the Bantu expansion started closer to 3000 BC. The technical term Bantu, meaning human beings or simply people, was first used by Wilhelm Bleek, as the concept is reflected in many of the languages of this group. A common characteristic of Bantu languages is that they use words such as Muntu or Mutu for human being or, in simplistic terms person, and the plural prefix for human nouns starting with Mu in most languages is Ba, thus giving Bantu for people. Bleak, and later Karl Meinhof, pursued extensive studies comparing the grammatical structures of Bantu languages. The approximate locations of the 16 Guthrie Bantu zones, including the addition of a zone J around the Great Lakes. The Jarawan languages are spoken in Nigeria. The most widely used classification is an alphanumeric coding system developed by Malcolm Guthrie in his 1948 classification of the Bantu languages. It is mainly geographic. The term narrow Bantu was coined by the Benue Congo Working Group to distinguish Bantu as recognized by Guthrie, from the Bantoid languages not recognized as Bantu by Guthrie. In recent times, the distinctiveness of narrow Bantu as opposed to the other southern Bantoid languages has been called into doubt, but the term is still widely used. There is no true genealogical classification of the Bantu languages. 
Until recently most attempted classifications only considered languages that happen to fall within traditional narrow Bantu, but there seems to be a continuum with the related languages of South Bantoid. At a broader level, the family is commonly split in two depending on the reflexes of Proto-Bantu tone patterns, many Bantuists group together parts of zones A through D as Northwest Bantu or Forest Bantu. And the remainder is Central Bantu or Savannah Bantu. The two groups have been described as having mirror image tone systems, where Northwest Bantu has a high tone and a cognate, Central Bantu languages generally have a low tone, and vice versa. Northwest Bantu is more divergent internally than Central Bantu, and perhaps less conservative due to contact with non-Bantu Niger-Congo languages, Central Bantu is likely the innovative line cladistically. Northwest Bantu is clearly not a coherent family, but even for Central Bantu the evidence is lexical, with little evidence that it is a historically valid group. Another attempt at a detailed genetic classification to replace the Guthrie system is the 1999 Trevuren proposal of Baston, Coupe, and Mann. However, it relies on lexicostatistics, which, because of its reliance on overall similarity rather than shared innovations, may predict spurious groups of conservative languages that are not closely related. Meanwhile, Ethnologue has added languages to the Guthrie classification which Guthrie overlooked, while removing the embalm languages, and shifting some languages between groups in an apparent effort at a semi-genetic, or at least semi-aerial, classification. This has been criticized for sowing confusion in one of the few unambiguous ways to distinguish Bantu languages. Nurse and Philipson evaluate many proposals for low-level groups of Bantu languages, but the result is not a complete portrayal of the family. Glottolog has incorporated many of these into their classification. The languages that share Dahl's law may also form a valid group, Northeast Bantu. The infobox at right lists these together with various low-level groups that are fairly uncontroversial, though they continue to be revised. The development of a rigorous genealogical classification of many branches of Niger-Congo, not just Bantu, is hampered by insufficient data. Simplified phylogeny of northwestern branches of Bantu by Grolemond, other computational phylogenetic analyses of Bantu include Curry et al. Grolemond et al. Rexava et al. 2006, Holden et al. 2016, and Whiteley et al. 2018. Glottolog does not consider the older geographic classification by Guthrie relevant for its ongoing classification based on more recent linguistic studies, and divides Bantu into four main branches. Guthrie reconstructed both the phonemic inventory and the vocabulary of Proto-Bantu. The most prominent grammatical characteristic of Bantu languages is the extensive use of affixes. Each noun belongs to a class, and each language may have several numbered classes, somewhat like grammatical gender in European languages. The class is indicated by a prefix that is part of the noun, as well as agreement markers on verb and qualificative roots connected with the noun. Plural is indicated by a change of class, with a resulting change of prefix. All Bantu languages are agglutinative. The verb has a number of prefixes, though in the Western languages these are often treated as independent words. In Swahili, for example, Kitoto Kadogo Kimikasoma means the small child has read it, a book. Kitoto child governs the adjective prefix key and the verb subject prefix key. Then comes perfect tense me and an object marker key agreeing with implicit kitabu book. Pluralizing to children gives Vitoto Vidogo Vimikasoma, and pluralizing to books gives Vitoto Vidogo Vimivasoma. Bantu words are typically made up of open syllables of the type CV with most languages having syllables exclusively of this type. The Bushong language recorded by Vansina, however, has final consonants, while slurring of the final syllable is reported as common among the Tonga of Malawi. The morphological shape of Bantu words is typically CV, VCV, CVCV, VCVCV, etc. Semicolon that is, any combination of CV. In other words, a strong claim for this language family is that almost all words end in a vowel, precisely because closed syllables are not permissible in most of the documented languages, as far as is understood. This tendency to avoid consonant clusters in some positions is important when words are imported from English or other non-Bantu languages. An example from Chewa, the word school, borrowed from English, and then transformed to fit the sound patterns of this language, is sukulu. That is, SK has been broken up by inserting an epithetic U. U has also been added at the end of the word. Another example is bulidi for bread. Similar effects are seen in loanwords for other non-African CV languages like Japanese. However, 
A clustering of sounds at the beginning of a syllable can be readily observed in such languages as Shona, and the Makua languages. With few exceptions, such as Kiswahili and Raturo, Bantu languages are tonal and have two to four register tones. Reduplication is a common morphological phenomenon in Bantu languages and is usually used to indicate frequency or intensity of the action signaled by the verb stem. Well-known words and names that have reduplication include, repetition emphasizes the repeated word in the context that it is used. For instance, Mwenda Pol Hajikwai, while Pol Pol Neo Mwendo, has to to emphasize the consistency of slowness of the pace. The meaning of the former in translation is, he who goes slowly doesn't trip, and that of the latter is, a slow but steady pace wins the race. Haraka Haraka would mean hurrying just for the sake of hurrying, reckless hurry, as in you. Haraka Haraka, come here. Hurry, hurry. In contrast, there are some words in some of the languages in which reduplication has the opposite meaning. It usually denotes short durations and or lower intensity of the action and also means a few repetitions or a little bit more. The following is a list of nominal classes in Bantu languages. Virtually all Bantu languages have a subject-verb-object word order with some exceptions such as the Nen language which has a subject-object-verb word order. Following is an incomplete list of the principal Bantu languages of each country. Included are those languages that constitute at least 1% of the population and have at least 10% the number of speakers of the largest Bantu language in the country. Most languages are referred to in English without the class prefix, but are sometimes seen with the prefix. In a few cases prefixes are used to distinguish languages with the same root in their name, such as Chiluba and Kaluba, Umbundu and Kimbundu. The prefixless form typically does not occur in the language itself but is the basis for other words based on the ethnicity. So, in the country of Botswana the people are the Botswana, one person is a Matswana, and the language is Setswana, and in Uganda, centered on the kingdom of Buganda, the dominant ethnicity are the Baganda, whose language is Luganda. Map 1 shows Bantu languages in Africa and map 2 a magnification of the Benin, Nigeria and Cameroon area, as of July 2017. Localization of the Niger-Congo languages a case has been made out for borrowings of many place names and even misremembered rhymes, chiefly from one of the Luba varieties, in the USA. Some words from various Bantu languages have been borrowed into Western languages. These include, along with the Latin script and Arabic script orthographies, there are also some modern indigenous writing systems used for Bantu languages. Thanks for watching.